Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I am here for two reasons. I wanted to show you, um, after I filmed the last fish that I did with the um, resist technique, I got an idea, and I was going to put a ring, binding ring, through the eyeballs, but then I remembered that I had given these guys dimensional eyeballs and so then I thought well why not hook them up by the tail and this will end up to be an idea deck and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of my fish I'm going to cut a, a back to it because remember we were doing these and I was going to actually use these in a scrapbook page but now I'm just going to keep them as an idea deck an inspiration deck and I'm going to cut a blackout there is no blackout, but on my gypsy, I'm going to black, hide all of the contours just to make a solid, and I'm going to put it in the back so I can write down the technique that I use to create each of the fish. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And then I punched with my little sun punch. I punched a little sun out of sparkle. CWV paper and then I took just one segment of a of the bling mesh just one tiny one and look what a great eyeball that makes so I gotta glue that down so just wanted to share that one and then I got my blitzy haul and I used all of my credits. I have none left. <laughs> thank all of you. I want to thank all of you who helped me get all of the credits that I needed to be able to get add to my Distress Stain collection. So I'm going to show you which ones I got. Right now at Blitzy, oh, Adrian wants to show you his. What is that, Adrian? Um... It's not a Star Destroyer in Star Wars. It's, um, a it's a Republic cruiser. Oh, very nice. Attack group! Very nice. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad you were able to buy that with your money. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't know if they still have any distress stains available. Um, I was just there just a moment ago, and um, they have Spellbinder dies as of today, and as of last Wednesday was when they had the Distress Stain, so right now it's Monday at 2 o'clock, and it is May 21st. So as of today, there are some that are not blitzed out. Peeled paint is still there, walnut stain, weathered wood, crushed olive, pumice stone, fresh corduroy, aged mahogany, black soot, no, sorry, scratch that, um, pine needles, those are still available as of 201 on Monday, May 21st, if you're looking for distress stains, but I used all my credits to get all of these and I paid I went over a little bit just a minute and I just a minute and I paid for all the stuff I'm gonna show you nine dollars and eighty six cents. So here is what I what I got. Not right now. No. So I got weathered wood, mm-hmm, broken china. Oh my, did I have broken china already? Ay -ay -ay. No, I didn't. Faded jeans and chip sapphire is what I had. Okay. Um, so I got those. And then... Picket fence. Birth Dusty Concord. Worn lipstick. Oh, I thought I got sponge sugar. I guess I didn't. Um, shabby shutters. Pumice stone and scattered straw because I already have wild honey and mustard seeds. So these are the colors that I already got and I wanted to show you, I don't think I showed you this already. 
might, maybe I did. I have these labels, multi-purpose labels. These are actually removable, but I don't really mind. And what I am doing is taking each color labeling them like this. If you see, if you're not sure about distress stains, um, it, you, pu you push down on it and then you get the stain on the label. Actually, I didn't, this is not how I did it the first time. It's a little distracted right now, sorry. Okay, first I actually put the label on the on the lid and just let it dry and let me show you how I really did it. And so here's shabby shutters. So first I it fits perfectly. You could also do this with just one of your circle punches. And just punch. And there's, oh man, that came out really fast. That's shabby, sh shabby shutters. <laughs> shabby shutters. Shabby shutters. Came out really fast. And I want to save that ink. So I'm going to get one of my ink applicators and just pick that up, but I, um, yeah, I didn't have that, that much trouble the first time I did it. Anyway, because I am storing them in here, and so this way I can just look in my little box here, and then I have these little labels where I can see the color. I'm just Spread it out like that. Okay, so see, you can see the the array. And they should all fit in here pretty nicely. But see, if I have them in there with no label, hard to know what color it is. So now that's it. I may have room for a couple more. I don't really need any more though. I think that's a good good collection right there. Okay, so just wanted to show you how I store those. Then I got one more thing with my credits. Something I've been wanting. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I'm tempted to get this brayer. And I already have a brayer, but it's this big gigantic one. So I'm going to keep this one in my scrap bag so I always have one available and then keep this one here. So this one happens to be the 3 and 5 16 inch brayer. made by Ranger, and I love anything made by Ranger. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, these, you can actually remove these. You can, I think you can remove that one too, but anyway. It's really nice and smooth. I can actually take that and, you know, use it to ink a stamp or whatever. So, it's going to go in my, see how much nicer it goes into my tool caddy. This thing is just like humongous. Big old handle. So stick this back in my scrap bag. So that's it. Just wanted to share those things and I will be resuming my videos. Um, Adrian wanted to share something. Adrian, what did you want to show? I don't know where he is. 
he's not in the room anymore. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye.